All right, fortunate to have Alan Creedy uh, stop by today to our office and visit and have some great conversation. But I wanted to take the opportunity while I had Alan here to ask him a few questions about the profession. And uh, Alan, could you give us your take on the Aurora Casket acquisition? You know, this just happened last week, uh, Ryan, and uh, I guess unlike a lot of you guys, I'm a little bit in shock. I know a lot of the people at Aurora and. Uh, I'm very much saddened that, uh, that uh, this transition is, is taking place, but at the same time, I think in many respects it needs to be an acknowledgement that we are at the end of one era and at the beginning of another. So I, I really want to be clear that I continue to think that we stand at the threshold of our greatest opportunity, but it is very much an acknowledgement that some of us are not prepared to move into that opportunity and it puts the funeral practitioner in the position of having to make a decision as to whether they're going to be part of that camp that moves forward or if it's time for them to get out. Uh, and I think the Bakkens and the Barretts are, are among the group that said, you know, we have taken this issue of ringing one more dollar out of our best customers as far as it can go. Uh, the Hill and Brands uh, decided that early on last decade uh, when they told Wall Street that uh, they were going to use the cash flow from Batesville to invest in other businesses. Uh, so who knows what will happen with them, but let's look at where we are right now. We are at a point in just this year alone where burials, just burials, are down 6% from last year. That has to be a historic precedent. So to just continue saying the game has not changed in light of this event uh, doesn't make sense any longer. So for us to move forward in, as, as funeral directors, we're going to have to make some changes within our own practice. And I, I think that we have to make the same decision that the Bachmans and Barrett's made is, is it time for us to get out and, or is it time for us to get serious and begin to make that adaptation then? My personal belief is that we cannot, we can no longer refigure, reconfigure one more time our selection rooms so that we can extract one more shekel out of the best people we're serving. We have to figure out how to reach new people, uh, how, to, how to begin to serve larger size markets so that we can continue to be profitable but not try to continue that practice on the backs of our of, of the people who still like us because we seem to be chasing them away.